The lawmaker is confident the amendment for the government procurement law will be approved before the president gives his State of the Nation address in July. This and other stories in tonight's National News Roundup by Soo Jin Kim. The National Water Resources Board, in a report to the task force El Nino, urged property managers of villages and condominiums to implement a water management bulletin amidst the weather phenomenon. This to avert supply disruption and to ensure enough water supply during El Nino and until the onset of rainy season. The official explains this program is in compliance with President Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr.'s instructions to mitigate and manage the impact of El Nino. Vice President and Education Secretary Sara Duterte says no penalty shall be for the public school teacher who went viral for harassing students during a social media live stream. The official uses the reason that the teacher is human too and is given the frail and fragile personality or the inability to control or manage anger. Una kung naging reaction is uh, tao lang, uh, yung teacher, lahat tayo uh, umaabot sa punto na nagagalit tayo, lalo pag nag-frustrate tayo. Uh, this is especially true sa mga teachers dahil ang mga teachers natin hindi lang isa na tao yung kausap nila ang isang klase ay mayroong from 25 to 45, sometimes uh, 55 students. She adds the department is always ready to provide psychosocial support to the students negatively impacted by the teacher. House Senior Deputy Speaker Aurelio Gonzalez Jr. is confident the amendment for government procurement law will be put into law before President Marcus Jr. gives his State of the Nation address in July. House Bill Number 7944 indicates that under the Bagong Pilipinas Government Procurement Reform Act, the procurement process will be reduced from 72 days to 27 days. The Department of Environment and Natural Resources awarded individuals and institutions who championed water preservation. Every 22nd of March, the agency conducts the ceremony alongside World Water Day. The theme for this year is Pagkakaisa Tungo sa Seguridad Pantubig. The DNR Secretary underscores the various projects and programs the agency has facilitated, including the better enforcement of registrations for well drilling permits. Though we are celebrating today, may this day also remind us that there is still much work to be done. Sujin Kim from the National TV Network for the New and Better Philippines.